this motor home here pretty soon for Johnny. He's uh, this is going to be his new home. So uh, one of the things you got to do first is you got to remove the decals, and if you see, there's still a lot of glue residue from that on there. And I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly remove that sticker glue uh, from your motorhome. Now you don't get the goo gone, you don't get all that stuff, okay? This is orange air freshener. This is not designed for sticker glue removal, but it works better than any of those things. So orange air freshener, pure citrus, a lot of there's a lot of different brands of this. It doesn't necessarily have to be pure citrus, but um, as long as it's the orange oil air freshener it works usually pretty good so you just spray it on your on your glue let it set for a couple seconds and then just take a razor blade and it just falls off of there like nothing okay so that's how you look at that it's all in the knife I didn't bring my rag hang on a second now what we'll do is just immediately just wipe it off and then also after you're done I would definitely wash this with soap and water and, and use a scotch bright after you're all done with some soap and uh, that'll be part of your prep for the paint to stick that I'm going to show you which one to use in a moment. So this method is for using a solid color. If you want metallics, um, I may have a separate video on that. And of course, that's going to cost you uh, in the neighborhood of a couple thousand dollars for materials. If you're going to go with metallics, so or, you know all the custom paint and all that. This is going to have a custom paint on it, um, but we're not doing metallics, and we're doing solid single stage paint. So there's a couple different products out there that you can use. Um, one of them is uh, uh, Vistas Protec. I know it's got a little paint in the label. Vista Paint, they're Protec. It's an alkali emulsion. Both these products are, are similar um, as far as that goes. This is actually a waterborne acrylic uh, from PPG called Breakthrough. And these can be painted with an airless paint sprayer. So. Uh, if you want to get a really neat job, all you need to do is put one coat on. You don't have to put four, five, six, seven coats on. You take it straight out of the can. You can get it on there nice and heavy, nice and thick, one coat. And it'll still have that um, same, you know, like people go, oh, well, then it, if I use water base, it's going to ball up when I go to sand it. It doesn't sand. Um, these products here, when they dry, um, they use fine paper. It actually powder sands pretty well. It's not going to be quite the same as 100% oil base. But for instance, if you use, if you're thinking, well, I'll just use Rust-Oleum. First of all, you're going to have a major overspray issue. You're going to overspray all your neighbor's stuff if you're going to spray it. Okay, major huge problem right there. Um, the second of all, the same, the thing is with that with that product, um, that turns to has a has a oxidized finish after usually six months. So after six months of Rust-Oleum on there, you're going to be out there waxing and waxing and waxing. And this is your RV. You don't want to be doing that. These products here uh, typically don't turn to chalk. Um, and, you know, don't have that oxidation really fast. They'll last quite a few years and they'll still hold, maintain their color. Now, if you go with a really dark color, so let's say if you're using a dark blue, a uh, dark green, a dark color gray, or something like that, um, then you may have some uh, issues with that uh, sooner. So, but if you go with an off-white, a white, um, you're good to go. You should be uh, you should be lasting for quite a few years. We're talking about you know ten years. So. This is not a cheap way to make your motorhome look good. This is a way to make it look good for a long time if you're leaving it in the sun. Um, and if you're doing going to do the clear coat thing, that you know, definitely you, you'll want to put your motorhome inside. You don't want it outside in the weather. You know, that's just that's a disaster waiting to happen. It's, you know, yeah, it might last 10 years in the sun, but then everything else goes to hell. You know, so 
Anyway, let's talk about prep for this. Because this is a water-based paint, okay, there is pretty much minimal prep for it. If you're using an automotive paint, then you're going to have to sand everything, you know, in everywhere you didn't sand and get it super uh, scuffed down, then the paint isn't going to adhere and you're going to be repainting it. So with this product here, these two products here, really all you need is this a scotch bright pad and uh, soap and water. And I use, don't use uh, like laundry detergent, use dish soap it works the best it helps it's like wet sanding it helps cut into the finish a little bit and uh, of course we still got to remove this these de decal stripes maybe i'll do an example on these real quick so you can see just how well it comes off so again just use your stuff it's best if you wait about you know two or three minutes but we don't really have that kind of time right now because we're on video live and you just go ahead and you can see the longer you let fill it set a little bit longer you can see that just takes the sticker glue off immediately and that's crusted on there glue that's been on there a long time this has been on there since 1991 and it's 2017 now so it actually helps you if you want to take off your old caulking it helps take that off too look at that you know silicone but you need to get all that off of there You need to get all of that silicone and all that caulking off. That does it right away. So now you just wipe it off. Make sure after this you go ahead and wash it again. But uh, if you leave it on there a little bit longer, it does help to bite into that. Sometimes you'll put two or three coats on there and do the process a few times if it's really old glue like this one. The next thing we're going to do when we get ready to do this one here, um, hopefully I'll get my GoPro on, stay tuned, it'll be on this channel. Um, I have three channels, so if you hear my voice somewhere else, it's because uh, I do have three channels. So anyway, this, but I try to keep different subjects on them, because this is my job as a, I mean, I don't do motorhomes, I'm a painting contractor been doing this for 35 years <clears throat> and I paint all different types of substrates so motorhome is just another substrate people say oh well how do you know how to do that it's because I paint all kinds of specialty substrates so which substrate is you know could be fiberglass could be wood could be metal you know there's all kinds of specialty substrates that I paint so and that's what I do now so anyway so you go ahead and prep it like that. This is fiberglass. You can do the same for uh, steel or aluminum because uh, typically they're done with water-based paint. And people think, oh, i got to use oil-based because it's, it's aluminum. Say, so, no, 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 no. You don't need to use oil-based. What it was done with in the factory was a water-based DTM paint. So when you recoat it with water-based, it's actually going to adhere better to the existing paint that's on there. If you have some damage like this, um, what you need to do is just grind it a little bit with a heavy sander, 24 grit, and just expose the fiberglass and you can put a coat of either Bondo or I like to use polyester glazing putty. Works a little bit better. It's like a fine finish Bondo. That's really what it is. And you can go right over that um, with a little bit of primer and some paint. So what we're actually going to do here on this motorhome is we're going to paint the top portion with Vista Pro Tech, which is alkali emulsion paint. And the bottom portion, we're gonna actually use a sign industry paint um, that uh, most of you've probably never heard of. It's a three to one urethane. We're gonna put a metallic finish on the, just the bottom portion. And then we're gonna use uh, Breakthrough uh, for the stripes. And we're gonna do some stripes on it. So it's not gonna be just a one shot paint job. This is gonna have uh, you know some graphics on it um, the thing that's nice about using the water base as the base coat um, for the top for the bottom is going to be a solvent with a clear coat because I, there's not a lot of it so you can do that without having an overspray issue um, 
But the reason we're going to use the water base in the top is one for overspray, two for its really long lasting paint that doesn't, that, uh, that won't, uh, that takes minimal prep. So, uh, because we're, we're trying to keep the cost of this down. We don't want to be up in the thousands of dollars. Like if you use all metallics and you put clear coat over this whole thing, you're going to be into it a couple thousand bucks if you do it yourself. So this is how we're going to do it. And uh, if you keep stay tuned, you'll actually see, I'm going to try to get this on my GoPro and uh, we'll actually do a video of actually doing some of the work. I'm spraying this. It actually goes on with one coat right over this. Uh, we don't thin the paint. You, you don't want to thin your, your, your Protec. You take it straight out of the can, so you need a, at least a 0.5 gallons per minute airless to do it. So you can rent one of those at Home Depot. They have them there. You can't buy one for 300 bucks. Okay, you can't just go down and say, hey, I want an X9 Graco or one of those cheap little rigs that only does 0.25 gallons per minute. If you buy one of those, it's not really useful at all. You need a 0.5 gallon per minute so it can suck up that paint straight out of the can without any water. Okay, and we're going to paint the top with one heavy coat with a spray tip, uh, a 4, 413 spray tip. We'll spray the whole top with one nice heavy coat and uh, it'll turn out really nice. It'll look completely covered. There won't be any shadows or anything in it. It'll be completely covered with one coat. It's just like painting a garage door. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much how you do it. Um, stay tuned, you'll watch the job get done here pretty soon. So that's how you do a motorhome, do it with yourself and get a good result and better than Rust-Oleum. Use Rust-Oleum, not only are you going to have a, a lot more work to prep it, but you're going to have a lot more work you're going to put into it, you're going to have an overspray risk. And then the, the paint in, in six months to a year max is going to start to oxidize, as some people call it, but it's actually chalked surface, and you'll be out here waxing the thing every day, trying to keep it looking good. Not worth it. It's really not worth it. This is maybe 10% uh, more money that you're going to spend, and you'll get a better result. All right, talk to you in the next video.